Hey, what's up, folks? It's DJ from Rapid Scroll Garage. Uh, we've got a new fairing to put on this CB. We've got, um, we're gonna, and I think because of the new fairing, we're gonna have to relocate the turn signals, um, put them down here somewhere. We'll figure that out once we get the fairing set up there and uh, see how it mounts up and everything. But um, yeah, I think it's going to look good. It's uh, one of those cafe racer style fairings where it's like a little bubble type thing. Um, you've seen it on a couple of my other bikes. My Triumph, the Honda uh, CM450 both have it. Um, so yeah, I've used it on two different bikes now and I like it. It really, to me, it brings out the look of the cafe racer, the original type cafe racer. So that's what's going on this bike. And uh, like I said, new fairing, and we're going to relocate these turn signals. Even though we've done all the work on them, now we're going to remove them. Uh, or relocate them, sorry. And uh, I do have a new set of horns coming in, I just haven't gotten them yet. So, okay, there we go. Uh, I hope you liked the video. Enjoy. There is the new fairing. Um, you can kind of see what I was talking about, how it looks like a bubble. Um, and it's going to go right there, more or less. Um, and look just like that. My major problem is those handlebars are in the wrong, in the way. And uh, I've got new handlebars coming that are lower. So I just wanted you to see what it's going to look like. Um, it's going to look basically like that. But if you notice, it blocks the turn signals. Right, you can see just the ends of the turn signals. So technically I could leave it there and you see a little bit of a turn signal. But what I'm going to end up doing is putting the turn signals down here. Or right below the... Right here. So, yeah, I guess that's what we're doing. Let's move the turn signals. Um, the wires all end up inside this headlight, so we got to get it off. Let's go ahead and do that. and then remove the turn signals and try to move them down. All right, let's get this uh, headlight bucket out of the way. I didn't put it on very tight. But... And the other one's off. Okay, now we need to mount our uh, brackets down here. These are the brackets we're going to be installing. They basically clip like this. Well, maybe. There we go. <laughs> and then uh, you just wrap them around the forks. So that's it. We're going to put that on right now. You don't want to make these super tight either. Um, you'll end up just bending stuff and messing it up. So just make them nice and tight to where the bolt is through the threads and it doesn't move around like that. 
if you do it too tight, when you go to put your turn signal on, you'll um, you'll be blocking you'll be blocking where the you need to bolt it up at. Again, not too tight, just enough to where they don't move. And neither one of them move. Her turn signal's back on. Let's put it through the hole first. Same with that, you just snug them up because they're rubber and you don't want them to pull off by accident. All right, there we go. Now it's time to reconnect everything. Okay, I guess we'll start on the right side. Let's see, here's a white. We know what it needs. White. Which, these are the driving lights. So we're going to take them and hook it in with this one. One, two. separating because it keeps wanting to jumble up. Alright, so this one goes there. And we're going to put some tape on that. I'm just going to hook them up. I can't remember which one goes which, so I'm just going to hook them up and see what happens. Fifty-fifty chance I get it right. <laughs> still works? Yes. Alright, now left turn signal. Right turn signal. Left one again. Okay, well, I got it right the first time, so I'm ready to put those on.
good. Put that cool down a bit. Alright, here we go. We're about to put this all back together. And lights are on. Bright light works. Turn signal works. Okay, time ready. Let's work. Okay, everything works. Okay, we're going to go ahead and try to uh, at least get this mount set up for the uh, fairing. And I, like I said, I've got this fairing on several different, a couple different bikes. One of my Triumph, the one on the Honda in the background. They both have the exact same one. And I tell you, yes, people have asked. Yes, it actually helps. Not a tremendous amount, but it does help. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get this mounted up and see how we do. Looks like it might work. So, you know, the kit comes with a bracket similar to this. This is the bracket, not similar. And it mounts up kind of like that with your headlight bolt. You can go to the inside if you have room. I don't have room, so I'm gonna go on the outside. One on each side, and then that's all you do. The, the new bolts that come with the kit um, mount right up. I don't even have to do anything. I'm gonna go ahead, and, but I am gonna go ahead and use this washer and a lock washer underneath it and uh, to mount this bracket. Should be the same 14 millimeter, right? Yep. Okay, I found that you have to adjust these in and out and maybe even bend them in more of a U shape in order to get the uh, front fairing to fit properly. So what I do is I start by putting the edge of this with the edge of the headlight, not the bulb, but the rim of the headlight here. I just put those at even and then snug it down. Now we're going to do the same thing over here. This is again the bolts that came with the kit. so They're a little bit longer is why. It makes it easier to install. Should. Maybe it's not. Let's adjust it. Manually. Here we go. Okay. That's that. Well, that's way down. It'll be like up here. There we go. All right. Now this mounts right to those. Um, but as you can see, like I said, the brackets don't match up right. They're they're um, bent out too much. So what you can do is you can either bend them in some more or you can bend this out and then make a little U shape. Um, it's really up to you. Um, what I do is I just bend them in a little more and see if I can get it to work. Alright, there's the new front cowl, or the new front fairing, uh, new LED headlight, new LED turn signals relocated down below, so they kind of blend in, you almost don't even see them down there, right here, All right, and uh, everything else is covered up, all the wires and everything, now there's some plastic hanging here, but I need to take that windshield off, of get that plastic off, but that's not a big deal, we'll do that later, I just wanted you to see what it looks like now. And uh, I do have another set of handlebars coming in, which will be lowered to like right here. So it'll look even better than it does now. But uh, yeah, there we are. Uh, we've got the turn signals relocated, and we've had the front uh, fairing put on. 
with our LED lights. So you guys want to see the lights again? Make sure they all work. Bright light. Bright light works. Turn signal, right turn signal. Yeah. Left turn signal. Working in the back, yep. Yep. And right. And brake lights, all the lights still work. And we are done with that. So, what do you guys think? You like this type of fairing? Um, I personally think it's that cafe, the original cafe style. That's what I love about it. Um, you know, it needs a little more adjusting, like it needs to go up and to the right a little bit, but not much. So, once I get everything going, I'll adjust it properly. Um, this is just temporary to hold it in place so we can get a good look at it. So let me uh, take you off the tripod and I'll walk you around it. Let you look at it from the different angles. Here's what it looks like from the side. And all of this will be black. So ignore that. Here's what it looks like from the other side. Oops. How about that? There we go. And I will also be putting in two little dot, oops, I'll be putting in two little dot yellow marker lights right here. Um, matter of fact, I did the same thing on the Honda. Let me show you what it looks like. Okay. Oh, here's the Honda. Watch. Same turn signals. But you see this little yellow marker light? I'm going to put one of, I'm going to put that and I have one on each side. I'm going to put that on, um, the CB1000 also. That way I have a yellow marker light in the front and it makes it legal in all states. That's all. Some states require it, some don't. Ohio doesn't. Ohio doesn't require you to have a, a yellow uh, or an amber light in the front. Um, but it requires a light in the front. So which could be your headlight, turn signals, whatever. Um, it just requires a light. And in this case, the driving lights and the headlight will be on all the time. And here's a look from the dash. You can kind of see there's plenty of room to tuck down in, especially once we get the lower handlebars on. The lower handlebars will be way down here. So you'll, you'll have plenty of room to tuck up under there if it's raining. And I've done it before with my uh, CB, CM450 with the exact same shield on, uh, fairing on. And it started raining, and the rain was going right over my helmet. I mean, it was still hitting the very top and back of my helmet. But it kept most of the rain off of, you know, my, me and my chest and everything. So these do help, trust me. You know, they're not just for looks. All right, this is what it looks like from the dash. Um, I know, I got cracks. I haven't dealt with all this yet. Uh, speedometer still doesn't even work. So, there it is. That's what it looks like from the dash. And there you go. Nice profile pic. All right, everyone, that's the uh, end of this video, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. We've got a nice little fairing put on. We've got our uh, front turn signals relocated because of the fairing. Um, what I'm waiting on now are the handlebars. So that'll be probably next. Um, we've already rejetted the carbs, so we're good there. Uh, I still need to tune it a little bit, but yeah, not much. It's backfiring a little bit on the uh, exhaust. So yeah, we've got the fairing on, turn signals relocated. And uh, that'll be it for the day. I hope you enjoyed the video, and um, if you did, go ahead and click that like button, that little thumbs up down there, and uh, subscribe to the channel. It'd be much appreciated. Alright, I'll catch you guys later.